After your alveolar bone graft, a soft diet will help minimize chewing so your wound can heal well. Here's how to prepare a balanced, soft diet to ensure adequate nutrition after your surgery. When preparing rice, make sure the rice is not gooey. Avoid brown rice as it can be hard to chew. For soups and broths, strain them to get rid of any residue. You can add soup or broth to your rice so that it is easy to swallow. You should add about one portion of rice to two portions of broth. The grains should separate easily. You can also try pasta. Pasta should be boiled until it is soft. Add salt to a pot of water. Once it boils, add the pasta and let it cook while the water continues to bubble. Some types of pasta may take longer to cook than others. Pasta should be easily mashed with a fork and should not require much chewing. Avoid pasta that comes in bigger pieces as these require more chewing and do not become soft even after cooking for 20 minutes. Spaghetti should also be cut up into shorter pieces. Each piece should measure about 1 to 2 cm in length. Sauces and gravies should be runny and pour easily from a tilted spoon. You can add water left over from boiling the pasta to dilute the tomato puree. It should drip slowly in big drops through the fork. Pass it through a strainer to make sure it is smooth and does not contain any lumps. For meats, you may flavour it to your liking as long as spices or seasonings are not ticklish to the throat. There are many ways you can cook meat. What is important is that the skin is removed and the meat is tender and easily shredded. The shredded chicken should be cut into pieces of 1 to 2 cm in length. Or you can cut it up into bite-sized cubes of half to 1 cm. Pass the gravy through a strainer to ensure there are no lumps in the sauce. As with all gravies and sauces, make sure the butter chicken sauce isn't too thick or sticky. You can also have steamed egg, which is a great source of protein. Add one egg to three parts chicken stock. Add soy sauce to taste. Strain the mixture to make it silky smooth. For the shiitake mushroom, avoid the stalk as it requires more chewing. Chop the mushroom into half to 1 cm cubes and add it into the egg mixture. Steam it on low heat for 7 minutes. And finish it off with sesame oil. Enjoy your silky smooth steamed egg. For vegetables, avoid thin leafy vegetables that can get stuck between your teeth or in your wound. Cabbage can be sliced into thin strips of about 1 to 2 cm in length. Thicker parts of the cabbage should be chopped into pieces of half to 1 cm. For vegetables with seeds, try to remove as many seeds as possible. Vegetables should be chopped into half to 1 cm cubes. Fry garlic in some oil before adding the vegetables. Stir fry on medium to high heat for 1 to 2 minutes. Add some water and sauces or seasoning of your choice and cover. Let the vegetables cook on low heat for another 5 to 7 minutes. Some vegetables need to be cooked longer than others so they are soft enough to be easily mashed with a fork. Avoid overcooking so that nutrients are not lost. If you prefer to boil the vegetables on medium to high heat, remember that harder vegetables need to be boiled longer. Finally, it's time for some refreshing fruits to end off your meal. For fruits with seeds, try to remove as many seeds as possible. 
Similar to food preparation, cut fruits into half to 1 cm cubes so they are easy to chew. And there you have it! A yummy, well-balanced, soft diet meal after your surgery. Now, here are some tips for safe eating and drinking. Avoid biting off food with your front teeth as this may damage your wound. Avoid large spoonfuls of food to minimise chewing. When required, chew with your back teeth on the opposite side to your wound. Do not use straws or chopsticks that may poke or injure your wound. When eating and drinking, avoid talking or laughing. Avoid distractions such as using mobile devices and any excessive movements such as running or jumping. This will minimise choking and damage to your wound. For more information, visit the KKH website.